Good morning, this is Mike with the National Weather Service in Jackson, Mississippi with your weekly weather briefing this December 27th, 2021. As highlights, I'll be talking about our warmer than normal temperatures that are expected to continue through the weekend and we'll have two severe storm chances. The first will be on Wednesday into Wednesday night and the second will be Saturday into Sunday. For today, we have high pressure surface and aloft centered to our southeast. This high pressure will remain dominant over our area, even though a cold front will try to encroach on it uh, later today. We're not expecting any rainfall today, however, as high pressure will remain dominant. And we'll see abnormally warm temperatures but we'll see a little bit more cloud cover than we've seen through the last couple of days. Our normal highs for this year run from the lower 50s in the northwest to near 60 degrees in the southeast. So we're looking for high temperatures today to be more than 20 degrees warmer than normal at some locations. As we get into tonight, we'll start to see a stray shower or two in the southeast. Other than that, most of the area will remain abnormally warm and dry. We're looking for lows to be in the lower 60s, or low to mid 60s in some spots. And our normal lows for this time of year run in the mid to upper 30s. So you can see that we're more than 20 degrees warmer than normal with our forecasted morning lows for Tuesday morning. As we get into Tuesday, we're looking for increasing rain chances across the region due to a moisture increase ahead of yet a couple of more cold fronts that will be approaching our area. This graphic shows our rain chances with the best rain chances across the southeast half of our county warning area and high temperatures will be even a degree or two warmer in the upper 70s to lower 80s. As we get into Wednesday, we'll still have our warm, moist air mass in place and we're looking for high temperatures to be uh, much warmer than normal again. But the cold fronts will be a little bit closer to the area and we'll start to see some upper level support that will lead to the potential for severe storms. At this time frame, we're looking for uh, severe storms possible over much of our area, including the threat for damaging winds and hail and tornadoes cannot be ruled out. Over our westernmost parishes in uh, southeast Arkansas zones and in our far southeast, there'll be a more isolated severe storm threat, again with damaging winds and hail, and a tornado or two cannot be ruled out. The main time frame for this scenario is Wednesday afternoon and a Wednesday evening. As we get into Thursday and Friday, the front will finally be trying to make it into the central portions of our county warning area, but it's expected to stall by Thursday night into Friday. This front will remain the focus for uh, shower and storm development through the period, but we're not expecting any additional severe storms until the weekend. Once we get into Saturday and Sunday, another cold front will be dropping into the area. This will be a stronger cold front and the system itself looks like it has more potential for uh, severe storm development across portions of our area. So yeah, there will be an additional severe storm threat to most much of our area come Saturday into Sunday. The Storm Prediction Center has outlooked this yellow area for day six for severe storm potential across our region. And this basically is across our Interstate 20 corridor and north. This is the graphic showing the expected rainfall totals over the next seven days. These totals um, are more than we've seen in the last couple of weeks. And it's showing nearly two to three inches potentially over our eastern and northeastern zones with the lightest amounts around one inch through the week in our western areas. Our western areas are in a drought, so they need 
the rainfall a little bit more than our eastern areas, but it looks like with this week's couple of systems, the bulk of the rainfall is going to fall just to the east of the driest areas. As a summary, we talked about the warmer than normal temperatures that will continue through the weekend. There will be two severe storm threats. The first will be on Wednesday and the Wednesday night across much of our area. And then additional severe storm threat Saturday into Sunday as another cold front drops into the region. As always, thanks for viewing the National Weather Service Jackson's Multimedia Weather Briefing. And this concludes this week's briefing.